Hi, I'm Robert Blecka from Arapaho. Uh, we're going to talk about the five-speed feeder house on this S780 today. So this is the five-speed feeder house drive on this ProDrive Combine. Uh, there is no serviceability to this unit, no, no dipstick, no drain, nothing. It gets its oil from managing gear case. Uh, really the only thing to check is this belt, this three-rib belt. Make sure there's no uh, heat markings or any cracks or any damage of any sort like that. Back in here is the uh, um, drive pulley that would transfer from the 90 degree gear case down to the front of the machine. Also, nothing to grease back here. Uh, just check the belt, make sure uh, no cracks or any damage has been made to the belt. Um, the tension on the belt is about the only thing to uh, adjust down here. Um, and it's right here and it's got the tab so you can adjust it to where the notches are, just like so. Now we'll tension this belt properly. Um, there's no grease for the shivs where this does not have variable drive on it, but uh, it does take the uh, HD 140 uh, synthetic oil, just like the variable rate machine or variable rate drive machines do. This is an annual service where it doesn't have as much heat as the variable drive machines do. So when checking the oil level in the gear case here, the reverser gear case, we want to make sure that the feeder house is raised all the way up and the lock is engaged on the lift cylinder and the dipstick is located back here on the inside. Just to make sure that we're uh, at the proper level, we want it raised all the way up. So when servicing the reverser, we want to use this HD460 synthetic gear loop, uh, part number TY26408. And it takes five quarts for the gearbox and the cooler underneath here as well. On the newer machines uh, for raising and lowering the feeder house drum, we've got this pull pin right here to pull that. And then down here at the bottom, we just rotate this hex shaft here to lower the drum and raise it accordingly. On this side of the machine, here's the other adjustment for the other side of the drum to raise it and lower it. It's the same principle, pull the pin, rotate it. Um, for the feeder house conveyor chain on both sides of the machine, there's a chain adjust. We just adjust this to where the indicator says it's within spec on the washer here. Also, down here, we've got the diagram for the chain that shows how much slack and tension we want on it. Our grease circ back here on the feeder house conveyor slip clutch, which is at one pump. Once a year. Any more than that, you uh, yeah, actually okay. lube the clutch and it will slip yeah. easier. We've got the rock trap. We want to check this daily, clean it out, make sure we get everything out of it. It's empty just in case we get uh, some rocks or other debris into the machine so it doesn't ruin anything further back. Uh, to do this, there's this clip here to remove and then we have to remove these bolts in order for the arms to drop down and open up the rock trap so we can clean it. Also, here's another lever that we can clean out the rock trap with uh, from underneath also. But we want to do this daily to prevent any other damage happening to the machine by bringing in rocks or anything else. This is the feeder house conveyor chain uh, drive chain. It can be adjusted from a high speed and a low speed. The low speed runs the conveyor slower. On the bigger sprocket here, it'll run it faster. If you're bunch feeding beans, it would be a good situation to change that. To change that, we want to loosen this idler up down here and move it to this top slot. And then we will depress this cone here, loosen the chain up, push the sprocket in, and then put it on this uh, bit larger sprocket and then let it lock back into the shaft. Then we'll move this idler to the center notch on the adjustment here and then retension our slack on the chain.